morning everybody Ty metalhood weatherman here hopefully everyone's doing well got a another tropical update for you guys we have now tropical storm chris and then we also have this invest area that's likely to become debbie to go along with it we still of course have major hurricane barrel here with winds at 120 miles an hour so we've had a slight decrease but this is going to be due to an eye wall replacement cycle we'll get into what that is in just a moment here so Plenty of activity going on, and then we also seeing plenty of energy coming off of the West African coast here. We'll be watching that more, but that's we're going to talk about that more in the next tropical outlook. But in any case, though, let's take a quick look at Chris here. Already has made landfall at this point here. We're not expecting much more beyond this point. I was honestly kind of writing it off to a slight extent of it even becoming a name storm, but we started to see an uptrend late yesterday and we watched this evolve from td3 all the way up to chris but as we can see here it's made landfall this is going to end up dissipating over central mexico here so unfortunately the thing is we have barrel that's coming over towards this region as well and the problem is it's going to be in a very similar area so the concern that i have here is we're going to see a very notable flood threat as we continue to go forward towards central mexico especially south central mexico as far as the impacts are concerned with this storm still expect this to be a pretty strong hurricane as this heads between belize and cancun here we'll actually go ahead and take a look at the forecasted intensity with this in just a moment here this is a current look at barrel right now barrel is going through an eye wall replacement cycle it is starting to clear it back out. So this is expected to re-strengthen back up to category four, which would be 130 mile per hour winds at minimum. We could see it strengthen just a little bit beyond it. it does have in its DNA the ability to rapidly strengthen. We're still in a pretty suitable environment for it to do so. Now, thing to make note of here again is the track. If we can actually go ahead and click on this here, you can actually see by the time it would make landfall over towards the Yucatan region and also over towards the Bay of Campeche. This is still at about 100 miles an hour at this point. So this would be a category two hurricane. As of right now though, we can expect this to strengthen, as we mentioned before, back up to category four briefly. And eventually as we continue to go forward, we'll start to see this weaken. I do think wind shear is going to play a part in this. There even is a chance of a little bit of dry air maybe trying to sink into the core of the storm just to hamper it just a bit more. Good news is with this storm, also in regards to its track, is Jamaica is no longer in the dead center part of the cone here. Still in that northern edge, so to speak. But the threat of a direct impact isn't quite as high. Still going to cause high surf still going to be dealing with some strong winds threat of tropical tornadoes also exist especially with this storm starting to weaken and strengthen a bit more the size of the storm may increase just slightly so this will help increase the scope of impacts as well one thing to remember with these hurricanes and tropical storms is that the impacts are not just reserved to the center so we're going to be seeing an increase in or decrease in fair weather over here, so to speak. Not just for Jamaica, but also Haiti, Dominican Republic. The real areas that are gonna be getting it the hardest right now, it looks like definitely will be the Windward Islands over the course of the next couple of hours here. So keep those guys in your thoughts as we continue to go forward. So next thing we'll do here is go ahead and take a look at what our forecast could be with this system here. Like I said, with that eye wall replacement cycle finishing, we're gonna end up seeing this strengthen back to a very powerful category four hurricane here's why i think the storm will most likely be at its strongest at with a low pressure of 943 millibars lower the pressure the stronger the storm and this is just when it will be making an impact unfortunately over the windwards we'll watch this start to push off to the west here and this is where the weakening process begins gradually i do think this happens in the middle of an eye wall replacement cycle and it does slow it down I do think a couple other factors come into play to help weaken it further, but eventually it does try to get its act back together according to this model here, the HAFSB. But even so, like I said, major 
a near major hurricane here still. I would say this might even be a little bit stronger than the 100 miles an hour that are forecast right now, just based off of the pressure, but can't guarantee that this will be completely accurate. This is one of many models you could look at here. But as we continue to go forward, the good news is once it gets over Mexico, this is going to weaken substantially, but the threat for rainfall remains, and there have been several systems that have traversed over this area. So over towards Mexico, especially towards South Central Mexico, you need to be paying attention, not just only to the overall hurricane threat, but the rainfall threat in particular. So that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at our humidity with this storm here. I'm gonna go back a bit. And what we're looking for is any area in the brown areas that would uh areas of brown that will pop up towards the center of the storm or on the or on the uh, western flanks here and interestingly enough look what we have here this is 48 hours out you see a little bit of dry air try to sneak into the center of the storm here and it does hamper it because this did have a much lower pressure here this is at 952 millibars but we start to see some dry air sneak in get to 963 976 980 and eventually after it writes its own ship here it does start to strengthen a little bit but this could spare us maybe a major landfalling hurricane here but in any case though still a very powerful storm that we need to keep an extra close eye on here between belize and cancun here's some some of the wind shear that we would need to be on the lookout for as we go further along here there is wind shear out ahead of this thing that can hamper it as we continue to go forward here. So this is going to impede this just slightly. It's not, I'm not guaranteeing that this will completely tear apart the storm. It's probably not going to. I'm just going to say it now. But what ends up happening though, is this stronger wind shear will help, help uh, decrease the chance of rapid strengthening as we continue to go further off to the west here. And this is also going to help avoid the U.S. impact. You can see which way these winds are pushing. They're going to be pushing not only against the storm, but it's also going to push in a way to where you would avoid seeing that little hook off to the east here, which we're so used to seeing oftentimes whenever these storms get over towards this region. Usually they end up shooting either past Cuba into this little strait right here, or like we're seeing here in this case, heading into Mexico. So unfortunate for Mexico, but anyone on the Gulf Coast, it looks like you're spared this time. But of course, as we know, we have a long season ahead. And like I said, it's a wake up call. So make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do. Just gradually build up your supplies over time, because I do think that maybe our luck might run out. Hope for the best, though, but be ready in case things go downhill. That being said, that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button as well. Make sure you let your friends and family know if you're planning a trip towards the Caribbean to keep an eye on the tropics. We'll be doing that here pretty often, at least once or twice a week. And increasing coverage if needed, if storms start to, to develop. But that being said, you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you this afternoon.